So I think it's really important to give your skin some love before you go to bed. Take off every trace of makeup, you know, um, use a toner, feel really like fresh on your skin and um, then use a serum and a moisturizer that you really like, eye, eye cream, and uh, then a spritz of perfume and off to bed. I love it. I love it. Everyone's like taking notes right now. <laughs> now. I know you've visited the Middle East region on numerous occasions. What has been like one memory that just sticks with you? The people. I mean, I love, you know, Middle Eastern hospitality. There's nothing like that. You know, the big I families, know. So, the table full so of food. Giving. And so giving. And it's, it's very much like Indian culture as well, which is like, you know, just like family and food and laughter and music and dancing and just like each other. And the best community. part of life. Yeah, community. Yeah. And, and that's what I love I about Middle Eastern cultures, that there's such a strong sense of community and family and um, hospitality that I've always had the best time. Yeah, I think we're, we're, we're so similar to the Indian culture, right? Like, it's all about food and family and being together. And, of course, you've got the, the music East, and everything it's else. The, it's the, yeah. the uh, similar when it comes to, comes to those, um, those qualities. Now, tell me, do you know any Arabic words? Um, shukran. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I'm not impressed. Habibi. I love it. Well, considering um, you are sharing some of your beauty secrets to us, I wanted to maybe teach you a couple of Arabic words. Are you up for yes, it? Please, for sure. All right. So considering we're talking about, and this is something that you represent, is being beautiful, I'm going to teach you how to say the word beautiful. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Jamila. Jamila. There, there you go. And you can say, Enti, you are Enti Jamila. Enti Jamila. You definitely uh, are, Jamila. Enti <laughs> Jamila. All right, so now you know how to say that. Beautiful. The other one, considering we're talking about makeup, is how do you say makeup in Arabic? Oh. Say makiyaj. Makiyaj. <gasps> Which is very Your French. Your makiyaj is makiyaj. beautiful. I know, right? <laughs> now you know. Your makiyaj <laughs> is Jamila. Uh, exactly. Oh, my God, you just made a full sentence. I'm so proud. Very good. Well, a couple of questions that I have for you. Like, I've got, we've spoken about now some products, and, and I agree. I've decided to use this as well. I love the fact that it's a three-in-one. It's the primer, the concealer, and, of course, the foundation. Now, we've spoken a little bit about your day look, you know, some blush, and off you go. What about for the people, for all the ones, I know you're incredibly busy, taking your day look to a night look, like, very quickly? What would you recommend? I mean, I'm a very quickly taking your day look and do your night look kind of person. I have my, you know, makeup pouch in my bag and I have all the things that I need. And I go a little heavier on the eyes or I'll go a little heavier on the mouth, depending on what I'm feeling. Um, I feel like my eyebrows... Because I've noticed that yeah. you love sporting a bolder look. Because, I'm, bolder usually, look. I'm, because I'm usually always tired. <laughs> I feel like... When you're tired and you have a bold lip, it takes the attention away from your eyes. But if you're if you're heavy on the eyes, all the attention is drawn to your eyes. So ah. if you're tired, it shows even more if you have eye makeup. So if you're exhausted, take the pressure off of your eyes and do the mouth. Um, do, and do a bold look. Yeah, do a, a bold, bold lip. lip. Yeah, mm. but um, I, I love, love doing it. eyes as well. I love a good smoky eye. I love using bronze tones to do a smoky eye versus like um blacker tones um i like having a little bit of gold and shimmer um i love really long lashes um a full eyebrow when i go from day to night and it doesn't take me very long well my next question is kind of fun and that is if you're stuck on a deserted island and can only have one max back that's so unfair <laughs> i hate that I somebody else asked me this question too and i hate that <laughs> Um, the one I think I would Not take is product. the Divine Lashes product, the mascara. The Divine Lashes. I'm a mascara girl, and if I'm not wearing mascara, I sometimes feel like I'm unwell. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, you're, you're awake when you're wearing your lashes. Yeah, I feel, that I feel like no, I'm I alive. I just started using this, lash, this mascara today. And on the a brush is really easy. amazing. The brush. It pops your eye open straight away. Yeah. Which I tell you length, which but, I like. Well, I've got another fun question. You're always on the red carpet sporting the tiniest little clutch. What's in your clutch, Priyanka? 
<laughs> makeup wise, <laughs> um, usually just a lipstick. Uh, lipstick? Which one? Just a lipstick because I end up eating up whatever I'm wearing on the day. Um, oh. with I know outfit. that you love a red lip. I do. Um, right yeah. now I'm wearing the chili that I showed you. Um, yeah. That's the one I'm wearing, but it's usually big enough for my bag. So I have my lipstick I'll keep, um, you know, which I use for a lip and a blush sometimes for a quick touch up when you can't fit in too much in your bag. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Well, I know you're constantly oozing confidence, right? Like whether that is on the red carpet, whether it's on set, or whether, you know, simply grabbing a coffee, you're oozing confidence. What have you got to say in, in your tips to others maybe that are not so confident? And maybe were you once upon a time not as confident? How did you get over that? And what are your confidence tips to other women? Oh, I'm not always confident. 